Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollow Knight in the last episode. We did a good chunk of stuff. Uh, in the last episode, we went back to the Royal Waters and beat up the sleeping Dung Defender in his dream, also known as the White Defender, as I died once because I was just being bad. Then we returned back up to Soul Sanctum and beat the Soul Tyrant, which is the uh, ascended version of Soul Master. Great stuff. And then we also went back to the Seer and said bye-bye because she disappeared. She said, I'm out, and left us. So, that's how it is, I guess. In this episode, we're going to be checking out some of the stuff in Dirtmouth that we didn't quite get to fully beat. But before we do that, I'd actually would like to return back to the original area of the game. Because we have climbing abilities here, we can climb back up to the beginning. And the reason I want to head back here is not for too many reasons, but I actually want to head back uh, about halfway. Why, you might be asking. That's a pretty good question. Because if we come all the way over here, right, you can remember we never had the ability to come over here. It was impossible. We never were able to make it. But if you come over here, we can pick up the Fury, Fury, uh, Fury, Fury of the Forgotten charm. What is that? Well, it's a charm that if we get down to one mask, I think it, like, doubles our damage. It's very strong, but very dangerous. It's, uh, huh, quite special. The only thing that makes this mask as good as it is, well, I'm not going to be using it too much uh, if, at all, but what makes this mask so dangerous for us, and for the enemies especially, is that lifeblood masks, the blue ones, don't actually count towards it. If you have one normal mask and seven lifeblood masks, you have enough masks. You you have a normal you have enough normal masks for it to work. All right. So what am I doing back in Dirtmouth other than getting the fairy the the forgotten thing? Also, a hundred and one percent. By the way, as you can see, we only need three more. And uh, these three, these three charms are all special charms that we need to unlock in some sort of way. So they're all going to be special fun stuff. But let me actually answer my question from five seconds ago. The reason we're back in Dirtmouth is because I want to fight this boss that we that I showed off a while ago. Back when we rescued Breda and Zote, uh, or killed Zote for the first time. He came back here and I entered here to get, I believe it was a face mask. Also, what is this? Right, 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 right. This is this is her fan fiction. Right, right, right. And then I hopped down here and I descended. If you remember, I entered this fight and I started fighting it just to kind of show it off. Well, I hate to do it, but this is the time of the fight. This is the time of the series where I come back to actually fight it for real. Remember when I was not good and had to fight this guy for the first time? Right. I'm fighting this guy for a... For a second time. And I don't like fighting him. <laughs> Why do I not like fighting him? Because he's hard, dude. I can't... I can't fight him. He's a hard guy. Oh, shit. Nothing about him is predictable, it feels like. Uh, except that, if you hit him enough times at fast enough speed, you know, you can stagger him. And that's what we want. Especially in a fight like this, where his moves are very, I would say, wild. Staggering him is the best thing you can do. Just stay out of his way, and if you're in his way, do your best to get out of it. And just use as, as much time as you can to heal, and get the fuck out, guy. And this is how you fight this fight. This fight is definitely one of the hardest fights that you're going to have to fight. Especially in a boss rush. He does come back. Because of course he does. You can actually leave him to die and you never have to fight this. It doesn't count towards completion. Except uh, it counts towards my completion. Because goddammit, I can't leave this game without fighting Zote. It's just not right. It's not. For the most part... I fought him so many. I've, I've fought him so many times. I know his moves pretty well to the point where I can do it in one shot. Holy shit! Holy shit! 
<laughs> I didn't think it was gonna work out so well. But he's dead. Wow, okay. Cool. If you just noticed, uh, we're killing him, that light appeared. That not light, that fire appeared. You can kill him, I think, ten times. If you can kill him ten times, that statue turns gold. But also, every time, every time he, you beat him, he gets another, he does more damage. Just like the white defender from last episode. But also, if we enter his fight again, because I like showing off the fights. Again. You can see, if you look at his name when he first spawns, this is important. If you remember, he only had three adjectives. Please spawn. When he spawns in again, he will now have four. He had five? Five. Gorgeous and passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful Prince Zote. Also, he spawns more enemies. Oh. I think he does two, but his enemies do one. But he's harder version of his fight, and uh, there's another time where I don't intend on killing him. I'll fight him as much as I can, but uh, I do not intend on killing him. Also, it seems like he gave me more time to heal there, and I respect that. Let's see if I can kill him again. Because I feel like he deserves at least one death on me. <laughs> Shit, guy. He's just taking all the staggers today. Maybe I've just gotten good at this fight, finally. Stagger that bitch. Eh. If I can kill him again, holy shit. That'll blow my mind. I'm so bad at this fight. Uh, holy shit, I just killed him again. It's been seven minutes. That is... I'm impressed. I've just, good, I've just gotten good at this game. Uh, and as you can see, two fires. I'm not going to do that again. But I wanted to show it off. I didn't mean to read this again. He's another boss that you're technically not supposed to fight. And he adds three. Three new enemies. He actually adds more. I think I go back in one more time. Uh, he'll add another enemy to his rotation uh there's actually a lot of zote enemies that we probably won't see because i have to beat a certain part of the game that i've never beaten before so we're gonna see but he actually adds a bunch to our journal but it's not needed for completion diligent overwhelming gorgeous passion terrifying beautiful powerful gray prince zote and now let's fight him again <laughs> Dude, what? He's only doing one damage? I thought he does so much more. I feel crazy. I do. Okay. Staggered. Eh. Eh. Wonderful. Look, I have to name this episode Great Prince Soad. Oh, yeah. New enemy. That enemy right there explodes on you. That is a new Zode enemy. If you can obviously tell, all these enemies are Zotified. And that's just kind of how it is. The Zot enemies I was talking about that I have to unlock. Again, I don't... I've never unlocked it, but basically it's just you fight a bunch of enemies that are Zotified. As we have been in this fight. Uh, except there are more of them. Best way to dodge that attack is just get in an area where they aren't near you. Let's see if I can kill him again. I swear to God, if I kill him again, I'm going to feel unstoppable. I'm not even trying to dodge at this point. I d fucking killed him again. It hasn't even been 10 minutes. Holy shit, dude. I'm going to come. Like, that's so precious. <laughs> Those two words don't go together. I'm not fighting him again. I can't. That's three times. I can't do it. I can't do that to myself. Dude, I'm going to fail no in November because of that. Holy shit. All right, well, 
That's a lot more progress than I was expecting today. And he explodes. That's basically it. And that's... Surprisingly all I wanted to show you today, but, uh... I... <laughs> I don't want to leave it there, it's only been 10 minutes. So, let's head to the Queen's Garden, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we want to head to the Queen's Garden Station. Or Queen's Garden... Yeah, Station. Queen's Station Station would be the other station. But Queen's Garden Station is the one we want to go to. I am so impressed with myself. I fail at that fight so much. I think the first time I fought him, it took me like an hour and a half to fight and defeat him. And that's why I've always, like, kind of hated that boss. But, shit, like, that really made my day. And it has only been 11 minutes into it. Also, come over here, get this grub. There are only two more grubs left in this game. <laughs> yeah, that was very quick. Alright. So, I want to head up here. Because I didn't expect to do this today, because I thought that was going to take me longer, so... Fuck it. Let's do some more progression stuff. You want to come over here and up here. I believe we've been up here once, but... I don't think I was actually able to come up here? Or something? Uh, no, this is new territory. We've never been here. I thought we had, but we have not. Alright. Just a bunch of platforming. It's normal stuff for Queen's Garden. But yeah. I thought we didn't come over here before, so we did. But it's alright. I'm 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 cool with coming back over here because this is a whole new area we have yet to explore. Because I'm lazy, and that's just about uh, as well as I can explain that. I'm just a lazy asshole. That's just how it is. I am not afraid of you. I have fought. Prince Zote and survived. Like, really well, actually. Okay, I'm a little afraid of you. Okay, let's, uh... Let's be serious. Holy shit. So much damage. I am way too cocky to win as much as I did fight, <laughs> and I'm so happy. Okay, so, obviously you can break this, and obviously we'll be back, but I want to come over here to the right because... This is the fucking pathway to green path that has just ruined me. Because I never, never actually got it. You have to go all the way around from Green's Garden, and it actually leads you back here. But we're not done here yet. What we want to do is we want to do a little bit of platforming and make our way up. However, you want to not be dumb. You can just kind of do that. It works pretty well for me. I was watching this movie on Netflix, and it is a... I don't want to say terrible, but I'm going to say terrible. Uh, oh, shit. There's a grub over there? Shit, guy. It was like a terrible horror movie, but like terrible as in like... Not necessarily bad. Just, it could have been better. <laughs> it was terrible just because of the premise of it and how it was... Um like how it was like presented it was a game it was a horrified version of would you rather and don't get me wrong the province itself is really interesting and that's what i was like ooh, too but it just wasn't that good of a movie shit i was like it's all right <laughs> overrated as fuck <laughs> thank you eat that pussy 442 I think that's his name. I don't remember. It's something like that. I'm totally about to die if I don't uh, get my shit together here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Alright, we good. We good now. But yeah, it was just... It's called Would You Rather. Of course, it is. Um, it's on Netflix. It's a horror movie. And, like, the picture on it is uh, someone's eye in a razor blade. I don't want to spoil it for you, but not really prevalent to the story all that much. It is brought up, but eh. Also, 
fucking we do what we want by the way we go through things okay that's just how we do it all right when you're with the crash family you break the rules kiddo you gay you break the rules i don't want to fight okay there's a boss up here but i don't want to fight it at two hearts so but we're gonna do it anyways okay make that one never mind make it three Oh, hi. Cloth, I've never, never done your thing before, but I guess that changes today. I've never done Cloth's, never done Cloth's uh, quest, so I didn't know she, actually, I did know she shows up here, but I didn't remember. <laughs> so that's cool. And this is the Traitor Lord. I called him the Tyrant King, and he is a boss that we get help with. You can, you fight this boss normally without help, but if you do Cloth's quest, which is very, very missable, it's quite missable, actually, I, I missed it a lot. Um, don't hit me. Eh, stop, I want to heal. You son of a bitch, let me heal. Stop! Get away from me! I'm dead. So, if you do Cloth's quest, uh, what happens is she'll come and help you fight Traitor Lord. Normally, if you don't do that quest, what happen? What will happen is that you have to fight it by yourself. I've always fought it by myself, and by always, I mean you only fight this boss once. I don't actually think the boss ever comes back uh this is like a one-time deal i'm pretty sure i don't think you ever have to fight this boss again which is odd because this boss is is interesting i actually quite like it um because it, it, it when you fight it by yourself it has i think it has different moves and it's just a neat boss like it, it, it's neat but I've never fought it with cloth, so I'm actually interested to see how this will end, because I have no idea. I, honest to God, have no idea, so let's see. But yeah, as I was saying, would you rather? Not not that great of a movie, but I would check it out on Netflix. It's a height, like I said. Nothing special, but it's terrible. <laughs> What's a fun terrible? There is one less of you. Why is that? Hey. Cl hey, Cloth. You trying to show up, Cloth? Thank you. Appreciate it. I, for some reason, less enemies spawned. Why? It's just odd to me. Let's not, please. Thank you. Let's try to get our health back before this guy comes back. Yeah, but you fight this guy by yourself. He has a move where he screams, and uh, you have to dash through it. You have to shade cloak through it, because there's no other way to fight him other than that. I'm dodging way too early. I need to move back over here. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Fuck. Shit. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Every time this motherfucker hits me. <laughs> Yes, didn't hit me that time. Hey, I'm getting better. Getting better at it. Of course, I, I say that, and I'm not. Yeah, run right through me. That's cool, too. <gasps> please. Yeah, please, stay away from me. That's the move I was talking about. Uh, he shouts. And uh, you have to shade cloak through it, or else you, you get hit. No matter what. Good little time to heal if you're far away from it. But it is dangerous, so be careful. Be careful. No! <laughs> Shit. I'm dead. I knew that from the beginning. As soon as he did that attack, I wasn't ready for it. I just wasn't ready. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, that's fine. I mean, with Cloth, the help is really nice. She does just 
does damage passively and I don't even need to this is the wrong way I don't even need to get in there and try but uh it is nice it is definitely nice to have that um just sucks that she doesn't take more uh like control over the fight not control she takes more I am doing terribly uh, what's the word I'm looking for takes more I guess attention from him because I need attention to be drawn away from me so I can heal because normally when I do this fight you only fight this guy like I said like once uh normally when I fight this guy he he's um he's very pattern based and I can tell his pattern really easily it's he only has the four moves which is the dash the slam the scream and then the two laser discs that he throws. By laser discs, the orange discs. I don't know what to call them. Um, he only has those four attacks. So it's actually really easy to... To pick out which one you want to use. Or which one you want to... You want to... Um, words. Which one he's going to use. But if you're running away to go heal... And you know that Cloth is going to do it. You know, Cloth's going to do some damage. It does, for some reason, messes me up a little bit. It's whatever, though. I mean, I just have to get better at the timing of this fight. Because it's literally just a pattern-based thing. You can tell exactly what he's about to do just by his movements. And as long as you have a Shade Cloak ready, it's, it's fucking nothing. As you can see right now, I'm doing that pattern pretty well. And then you just have to dash through that, but I messed that up. And I was not expecting to be hit by that. Just don't mess it up past that, and we'll be good. And, of course, I mess it up. I messed it up because I didn't have enough... Fuck! Oh. Cool. Thank you, Cloth, for killing him while I was off screen. That's neat. But he's dead! But so is Cloth. I'm sorry you didn't get to see it because I ran around your heal. Traitor. Uh, Lord. Traitor Lord. I can never remember his name. Traitor Lord stabs Cloth and in her dying breath slams her big ass hammer thorn thing down on his skull. But we didn't get to see it. And I really apologize. I didn't mean for that to happen. Trust me, if I knew that she was going to do the attack. I would have been right there, but I didn't know. And I'm sorry. Either way, let's move over here to the left. Do I? Hold on. Hold on. Cool that bitch. I'm actually going to end the episode here. I'm not going to show you what's ever in here until next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. In the next episode, we'll check out whatever is in this little room it's important i love you guys don't forget to subscribe yada 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 and you know like comment share with your grandmother all that jazz i love you guys peace